It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the curious giraffe Sit back and relax -o. We'll sing chat and laugh -o on the curious giraffe show. Oh, you all have gotten so good at that song. Can I, can I do Who's Who and the Curious Crew? Please, please, please. She asked nicely, didn't she? What was that word she used? Please. Yeah, so let's let her have a turn. What's your name? Milo. Hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. Thank you. Good. And what's your name? Lauren. Hi, Lauren. And what's your name? Hi, Ari. And what's your name? Hi, Hi, Joelle. Joel. And what's your name? Claire. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. And what's your name? Julia. Hi, Julia. Julia. And what's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. And you're Dorothy. Yeah. Hi, everybody. And today's a special day, and our friend Jackson Gilman is here. Let's see if we can call Jackson over. Jackson! Hi. When you walk down any street, Wave hello to everyone you meet. Wave up high to the birds that fly. Wave down low to the worms that go oh so slowly. High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, hello. When you walk down any street, Wave hello to everyone you meet. Wave up high to the sun that shines. Wave down low to the grass that grows. Oh, so slowly. High, low, 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 hello. When you walk down any street, wave hello to everyone you meet. Wave up high to the stars that shine. Wave down low to the waves that go oh so slowly. High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, hello, hello. Well, thanks for saying hello to me like that. Well, I'm going to sing you a story now. A story that's been told for thousands of years all over the world. Aesop's turned it into a fable. And my friend Sandy Pliskin turned it into this song. Oh, once there was a little mouse, and his name was Androcles. He'd wander around the countryside, and he'd go wherever he pleased. One day he climbed a golden mound. You know, nothing gave him pause till he found that mound was a sleeping lion, and he landed in his claws. Just at that moment, the lion awoke, and he gave a mighty roar. And Androcles said, Mr. Mouse, uh, Mr. Lion, I mean, of you I do implore. If you should choose to let me loose, I'd be grateful evermore. And someday I'll pay you back, you'll see, that desperate rodent swore. The lion <laughs> looked at Androcles, and he couldn't help but laugh. Don't you know that I'm king of all that could ever cross my path? You're free to go, but don't be slow or I just might change my mind. And don't pretend I'd ever need help from a pipsqueak of your kind. <laughs> well, the lion let him loose, and his demise it was forestalled. And Androcles made himself scarce, though he always did recall the debt he owed when the lion bestowed upon him his release. How he'd pay that lion back befuddled our friend Androcles. Well, a long time later, he was wondering how that mouse loved to explore. Till he heard a sound and his ears pricked up to a most familiar roar. Because upside down, way off the ground, trapped inside a net, was that very lion he'd sworn to help and he never did forget. Well, brave Androcles said, never fear for help is on his way. He jumped up, up, and gnawed away at that rope that held that lion at bay. At last the rope gave way and broke, and the lion was set free. And that grateful lion thanked his stars that he'd spared little Androcles. 
So let this be a lesson to those currently in command. You might choose to show some mercy, even though you have the upper hand. For the lion may roar with sharp claws gore, while the mouse can only squeak. Till someday you might find it's the mouse who's mighty, and the lion who is meek. <laughs> I think that's a good story lesson for our times. And that was a story about a lion and a mouse. This is a song about a turtle. And turtles don't make very good pets for a very simple reason. It's because you can't make a turtle come out. And that's the name of the song by Malvina Reynolds. And I'm going to pretend that I'm a turtle right here inside my shell. And, um, and well, I pretend he's right there, and I'll sing to him. I'll see if I can make him come out. Oh. You can't make a turtle come out. You can't make a turtle come out. You can coax him or call him or shake him or shout, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. If he wants to stay in a shell, if he wants to stay in a shell, you can knock on his door. But you can't ring the bell. Don't know how many bells. <laughs> you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. Be kind to your four-legged friends. Be kind to your four-legged friends. A poke makes a turtle retreat at both ends. Be kind to your four-legged friends. You'll have to patiently wait. You'll have to patiently wait. And when he is ready, he'll open the gate. But you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. And when you forget that he's there, and when you forget that he's there, he's walking around with his head in the air. <laughs> but you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a turtle in sign language. If you take your hand with a thumb on top like that and cover it, and pretend that's the shell, and stick the tip of your thumb out there and wiggle his head around, you've made a sign language turtle. Now pull that back. Leave the shell there and see if you can learn this song and sing it to the shell. You can't make a turtle come out. You can't make a turtle come out. You can coax him or call him or shake him or shout, hey, hey, hey. But you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. If he wants to stay in his shell, if he wants to stay in his shell, you can knock on his door, but you can't ring the bell. You can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. Be kind to your four-legged friends. Be kind to your four-legged friends. A poke makes a turtle retreat at both ends. Be kind to your four-legged friends. You'll have to patiently wait. You'll have to patiently wait. And when he is ready, he'll open the gate. Did he come out? No. You can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. And when you forget that he's there, and when you forget that he's there, he's walking around with his head in the air. Did he come out? No. You can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. You know what the most fun way to do this song? Is to let you be the turtles. If you want to be a turtle, get back in your shell. See if I can make you come out. I don't know if I can. You can't make a turtle come out. You can't make a turtle come out. You can coax them or call them or shake them or shout, hey, hey, hey. But you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. If he wants to stay in his shell or she wants to stay in her shell, you can knock on their doors, but you can't ring their bells. There's no bells to ring. You can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. Be kind to your four-legged friends. Be kind to your four-legged friends. A poke makes a turtle retreat at both ends. Be kind to your four-legged friends. You'll have to patiently wait. You'll have to patiently wait. And when he or she's ready, they'll open the gate. But you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. And when you forget that they're there, and when you forget that they're there, they're walking around with their head in the air. But you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. A hand for the turtles, they did a great job. I don't think I made them come out at all. They stayed right there. Okay. All right. Here's a song about being small. Androcles was small, but he was mighty, wasn't he? Well, I'm going to pretend, uh, let's see, we have a curious giraffe here. You know, I think those turtles were curious. They came out. We have a curious giraffe, and we had some curious turtles coming out to join the show. And this song has a, a, a line in it about a giraffe. It's written by my friend Stuart Stotts, and it's about the fact that 
everybody, you just how you do sign language, everybody started out, used to be small. The chorus goes like this. Everybody, 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 everybody started out small. And then you can echo me. See that elephant? See, See that elephant? He weighs eight tons. He weighs eight tons. See that pine tree? See that pine tree? It's reaching for the sun. Reaching for the sun. Look at a giraffe. Look at a giraffe. Twenty feet tall. Twenty feet everybody. tall. Everybody, 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 everybody started out small. Your mom and your dad. Your mom and your dad. Seem so giant. Seem so giant. Seem so strong. Seem so strong. And self reliant. And self reliant. But they used to wear diapers. But they used to wear diapers. They used to crawl. They used to crawl. Everybody, 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 everybody started out small. One tiny seed can grow a sequoia. One grain of sand makes a tiny pearl. One little baby makes a fine young boy or a girl who's ready for the great big world. You start out small. You start out small. But you never know. But you never know. What you'll become. You'll become. How far you'll go. How far you'll go. So take a little step. So take a little step. And if you fall. And if you fall. Remember. Everybody, 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 everybody started out small. Good job. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to show you another sign to how to save things. You take two V fingers like this, put them on top of each other, pull them towards you, and that's how you save things. And we're gonna save a lot of things that are help, gonna help this planet survive a little longer because we've been having some problems here taking care of our planet. So we're gonna save a whole bunch of things and you're gonna copy me with a song by my friend Dave Orleans. So, and you're gonna echo me again, just like you've been doing a great job. If I were a tree, if I were a tree, in the middle of the woods, where the sun and the rain, I'd feel real good. I'd feel real good. I'd make some shade. I'd make some shade. To cool my friends. To cool my friends. Here comes my part. And I'd go buds and seeds and leaves on my branches. And the birds and the squirrels would make home where the chances are good that I'd be happy right to the end. Right to the end. Save some trees. Save some trees for me, please. Save some trees for when we grow up, when we grow up. If I were a fish, just swimming in a stream, I'd have a lot of fun, if you know what I mean. I'd say hi to a frog, looking for a fly. Looking for a fly. And I'd hide in the weeds from that funny old muskrat. Stay away from worms on hooks because I know that I'd rather live here in the stream till the day I die. Till the day I die. Streams. Save some streams for me, please. Save some streams for when we grow up. When we grow up. If I were the beach. The by the beautiful sea, by the beautiful sea. I'd love to feel the waves, I'd love to feel the waves. washing over me. Washing over I'd, me. Invite I'd invite some kids to play in the sand, play my part. Sand. And I'd build my own castles with dune grass upon them. They'd keep back to sea if no one stepped on them. So save me from traffic and please keep your trash off me. Keep Take your trash, trash off, off me. me. Beach. Save some beach for me, please. Save some beach for when we grow up. When we grow up. If I were a cloud, just floating through the sky, I'd have a nice time as I drift on by. I'd float to the sea to fill with rain. And I'd rain on the city and all the people in it. I'd clean all the dirt from the air in a minute. The sky be blue when the sun came out again. Came out again. Air. Save some air for me, please. Save some air for when we grow up. When we grow up. 
If I were the sun, if I were the sun, making daytime bright, making daytime looking, bright down looking down on the earth, spinning day and night, spinning day and night, like a great big ball, like a great big ball, blue and green, blue and green, where the land and the sea and the sky come together, and the wind and the clouds swirl around, making weather. It's the prettiest doggone planet that I've ever seen. That I've ever seen. world. Say some world for me, please. Say some world for when we grow up. When we grow up. Good job. And when I was talking about that ball of blue and green, you know what I was really talking about, right? Yeah. What? The earth. The earth. That's a nice place to live, don't you think? You know, if you go to school, you may start the school day with the Pledge of Allegiance, and that's good to be, we want to be proud of our country and keep it on the right track. But Sometimes people get so enthusiastic and patriotic and zealous about this flag that sometimes they forget that there's other flags in the world and people who are really proud of their flags in their country. But no matter who we are, where we live, what our skin color is, what our religion is, we all basically have the same home. And that's this beautiful planet we have the good fortune of being on for a little while. So in addition to knowing one Pledge of Allegiance to a flag, I thought it'd be nice to add another one to our repertoire that takes a broader view of all that shares the planet together and not just people from other cultures but and we have to get along better with everybody but also the creatures who have just as much right to be here as we do so i'm going to teach you a new pledge of allegiance and um, i need someone really strong to be my atlas oh julia here why don't you take the globe here and put this on your head balance it right there and everybody else can repeat after me a new pledge of allegiance put your hand on your heart can you repeat after me I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the web of life, to the web of, life of which we're each a strand. Of which we're each a strand. And to our planet Earth. And to our planet Earth. On which we stand. On which we stand. One ecosystem. One ecosystem. Under the sun. Under the sun. Interdependent. Interdependent. With diversity. With diversity. And respect for all. And respect for all. Amen. And have our atlas here. Julia did a great job. Huh? And if anybody has a problem with those words, you can just go find yourself another planet. <laughs> <laughs> One way to keep our planet safer for future generations is to figure out a better way to get our energy. Because we need energy to heat our homes and fuel our cars. And we've been relying on the stuff that's been in the ground for a long time. The fossil fuels, the gas and the oil. And there's only a certain amount. And it's a no-brainer to realize if there's a certain amount we keep using it, it's going to run out. So let's be prepared for how we're going to uh, fuel our, our needs later on. And we're going to go directly to the, more directly to the source. You know where all the energy in our planet comes from? It comes from one fuel source. The sun. The sun. All the rest indirectly comes from that. So we're going to... So you make the sign for the sun. Draw it with your hand there. And... Uh, then uh, this is a sign for warm. And what happens is the sun warms up the top layer of the earth and that heats the air above it and where warm air goes up. And when it goes up, it leaves a vacuum. You can't have a vacuum in nature. So other air is going to come in. It could be cooler air and it could come in pretty fast in the form of wind. Oh, so why don't we just figure out how to harness this wind energy and then we could have all the energy we wanted for a while. Now, other song was by Dave Orleans. This one's by Monty Harper. And we're going to turn ourselves into wind turbines. So I need you to stand up for this. And sign along with me, and we'll see if we can turn ourselves into a wind farm. This is the sun shining down on earth. This is the warmth of the sun shining down on earth. This is the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth. This is the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth. This is the rotor spinning in the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth. This is the generator running on the rotor spinning and the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth. Two currents, put them together. 
This is electricity flowing from the generator, running on the rotor, spinning in the wind, blowing in beneath the air, rising up through the warmth of the sun, shining down on earth. This is the light from the lamp I lit with electricity flowing from the generator running on the rotor spinning in the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth this is the book i'm reading in the light from the lamp i lit with electricity flowing from the generator running on the rotor spinning in the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth what is the title of the book i'm reading in the light from the lamp i lit with electricity flowing from the generator running on the rotor spinning in the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth here's the last verse i think you know the words you can say it with me this is the sun shining down on earth is the title of the book i'm reading in the light from the lamp i lit with electricity flowing from the generator running on the rotor spinning in the wind blowing in beneath the air rising up through the warmth of the sun shining down on earth. You did a great job there. And I think it might be time for us to go. <laughs> Let's just wave again. Wave high. Wave low. Because it's time for me to go. Wave your fingers. Wave your toes. Wave your bottom. Wave your nose. Wave big. Small like this. And with your lips. Thank you, Jackson. <laughs> so let's show Jackson our goodbye song. Emily, can you take Jackson's hand and Julia move over and everybody join hands. You take my hand, Milo, and Lauren's hand back here. Here we go. And we sing. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Bye. We'll see Bye. you next time. Thanks for joining us.